volunteer mats, and welcome to core and floor. This entire practice will be done on the floor and it's going to work the core, uh, giving us some strength in those very important muscles, but we'll get plenty of goodness as well. When we arrive, we'll bring our fingertips together, the hands come in toward the heart, and we drop the chin down and in. The sacrum is like a bowl, and we want to make sure it's still and flat. We don't want to tip that pelvic bowl forward or rock it back. But having this centered center, letting our spine rise, our shoulders soften, and we breathe. Inhaling and exhaling. One more deep and even breath. and open those eyes. We'll extend our legs like we're stepping on them. Interlace those hands. Push your hands away from you. Lift those arms up if that feels okay. Otherwise, just pushing the arms straight out in front is beautiful. When we rise up, we might feel a little stretch. We might feel some of those knots coming into play. And I was just reading an article about we don't have to go full out in our postures. So thinking of these small micro movements right at our edge, and that micro movement might be a gentle lift, a drop of that chin. And as we stay, the edge might soften and release. From there, let's roll down onto our back. The heels will come down, toes up, reach those arms. And now make it as slow and controlled as you can. You might feel things starting to engage as they have to hold and work against gravity. And when you arrive, keep those shoulders off the earth. If you'd like, extend those feet, canoe or half boat. Breathe, hold. If you have to drop, go ahead. Try and come back up for three, two, one. Lower everything down. Bring that right knee in and pull that knee towards your right shoulder. That left leg can hover if you'd like. You can even bring your nose up toward that right knee. That activates that core, so you decide. Get into those ankles, last breath, and lower everything down. If you lift it, pull the left knee in, extend that right leg long. Same actions, you can stay down or lift up. Moving those ankles gets the synovial fluid. It's the fluid in the joints helps kind of get that moving around. One breath and lower that right leg, lower your upper body, reach that left leg long, arms up overhead. And grab your right wrist with your left hand, move the upper body to the right, or to the left, sorry, and uh, legs can go to the left as well. So banana asana, looking like that sweet banana. Inhale and exhale. The perfect ripe, ripeness. Not that smelly banana that's gone too far. One more breath. And back we come. Now grab that left wrist with your right hand. The upper body moves to the right. The legs move to the right. And we just feel this gentle curve in that spine loosening in the left shoulder if that's okay and back to center bring one knee in bring the other knee in rocking up and back and up and back come all the way up and 
onto your hands and your knees. If you can, bring those knees wide. Toes touch. We step those hips back. If your knees aren't okay with this, then just move gently forward and back. Beautiful stretch, but if you can, the hips drop, the forehead can drop. And once you land, you might scoot those fingers forward. And we're stretching the um, quads, the knees, the shins, the ankles, also into those armpits, the back, melting, inhale and exhale. One more breath. Coming back up to hands and knees, make your way back to seated. So we sit on down, the heels come to the earth again, and we extend those arms forward. Try and sit up through the heart. That keeps us nice and straight in that low back. Keep your right arm going forward, reach your left arm back behind you. All right, now we've added in a twist, and we have to hold ourselves. This is not fun, but it is effective. <laughs> One more breath. Bring that left hand forward, right arm goes back. And you just go to your level, lift in that heart. One more breath. Bring that right arm forward, a slow move back and down. Feel the gathering, trying to hold you in place. Coming to half boat again, five, four, feet can always be down, three, two, one, lower everything down, soles of the feet to the floor, lift your hips, push into those heels, ah, stretching for three, Two, one, lower everything down. The hands come by your hips. Lift your right leg up to the sky, then your left leg, and start to point and flex those feet. And from here, point those feet, inhale, and drop those legs wide into a V. Exhale, flex those feet, and inhale, bring those feet together. Inhale, point and open. Exhale, flex and together. Inhale, point and open. Flex together. Point, open. Flex together. Point, open. Flex together. Just one more time. And now hold those legs wide. Extend your arms through those legs if you can. Try and bend that right knee, oh, oh, and straighten. Just bend a little bit on that left knee and straighten. And now pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. I bet you hate me for 3, 2, and 1. Bring those knees together, pulling them in. You know, and if you could do one one day, then maybe you keep trying and then you get to two and then you've doubled your progress. So do what you can. Inhale and exhale and bring those legs back up. This time bend your knees, open your knees so the soles of the feet together, extend your legs wide and bring them back up. So bend the knees, open, extend the legs back, they go to the top. Bend, open, extend to the top, bend, open, extend, lift two more times, bend, open, extend, lift, last time, and shake those legs out. Okay, so now we're going to do that the opposite. So we open, tap those toes, bring the knees together, then extend, open, Tap, knees together, lift, open, tap toes, knees together, lift, open, tap, knees, lift, last time, open, tap, 
knees and lift. Shake those legs once more. Bend your knees, feet to the earth. Push into those feet. Lift your hips and relax. Inhale and exhale. Slowly lower down. Roll onto your belly. So rolling over onto your belly. Bring the forearms to the earth and lift, stretching the front of the body. Push into those elbows and the elbows can pull back towards your hips. Inhale. So stay here if you want to stay with the stretch or tuck your toes or keep the knees on the earth. Try and lift your hips. Forearm plank. Breathe. If you want to go up to normal plank on your hands, you can do that. This is just less pressure on your wrists and it's more work, let's be honest. <laughs> Stay and breathe. Three. Life is beautiful. Two. You are amazing. One. Bring those knees down, bring those hips down and lift. All right, to now strengthen the back, lower yourself down. Pretend you're holding that beach ball. Wrap those shoulder blades around your spine. Tuck your chin in, and if you can, float those legs. Inhale and exhale. Rewrap those shoulders. Notice how that might give you a little more lift. Stay for four. Three, two, and one. Down we come. Bring your hands by your chest. Return to a table. So hands and knees. One breath here. Then we move those hips back. Stretching out now the back. Giving some length after working the strength. Inhale and exhale. You can walk those fingertips forward. Letting it go. Coming back to hands and knees and sit on your bum. All right, the heels return to the earth. Those arms can extend. We lift in our heart if you'd like. Let those legs Float, maybe straighten, and breathe. Three, two, one. Bring your soles of your feet together, grab your shins, sit up tall, and melt forward. The elbows can press slightly if that feels okay. Try and roll those shoulders away from the neck. Let those hips open. So getting strong in our core leads to us feeling centered. That there is this center core that we can trust, that supports us, that gives us strength. And of course, I mean physically and metaphorically. So it's all kinds of goodness coming up and away. Bring your legs wide. So the legs come wide. And we're going to lean up and over to the right. So, or, yeah, right arm comes under, left arm up and over. So we lean, then come up to center, extend your arms. Left arm comes under, right arm up and over and we rise up. Remember, small is probably really helpful here. So go to maybe 80%, then rise back up over to the other side. And we lift. Bring uh, your hands to your knees and bend those knees and bring the soles of your feet together. You can hold on to the knees and make that happen or extend your arms. 
legs and hold. Tuck that chin. Now stay or slowly lower the feet down and lift the feet back up. Oh my, two, we're gonna go to 10. Three, remember, do one one day, see what happens the next. Four, oh, five, why did I say 10? Six, breathe, we've got this. Seven, and eight. The stretch is gonna feel so good. Nine, and 10, lift, lower, sit up, grab those shins and roll forward. So when we think about our core, we often think just about our stomach, but all of this, our hips, our side body, that is our core as well. Inhale and exhale, and we rise up. Okay, just one more that's gonna be a real challenge. So extend your legs into a V. Bring your left hand in, front, uh, in the middle of your legs, right hand outside the right foot. Flex that right leg, flex that left leg. Lift that right leg. Five, four, all is well. Three, two, one. Lower it down, take gentle fists. Gently pound into that right leg. Okay, other side. Right hand in the middle, left hand outside. Sit up in that spine, flex those feet, lift that left leg. Five, relax those shoulders. Four, my left leg does not like this. Three, <laughs> two, which means I need to do it. One, lower it down and gently pound. So, you know, part of the practice is practice. Showing up, seeing what happens, showing up another day and seeing what happens. We're gonna do that again. Left hand in the middle, right hand outside. Sit up tall, tuck that chin. Gorgeous posture, strong. That right leg just floats. You are strong, you are able, and even if it isn't off the ground, you are engaging those muscles, which is gonna make them stronger and stronger and stronger. One more breath, lower it down, and you can gently relax those muscles by giving them this gentle energy and right hand, left hand, sit up tall. Lift that left leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Soles of the feet together. Inhale, lift, and bow. If you haven't noticed, there's all kinds of ways we can strengthen these muscles that stabilize us. And it's so important because that leads to balance, which leads to moving through the world in this balanced way, which doesn't leave a residue in our body, you know, so we don't get off balance. Last breath. And rise up. And from there, let's come back onto the forearms. Those legs walk back. Again, take Sphinx to open up the belly or tuck those toes and let that belly hover. Tuck your chin, feel the strength. So my belly is already like, oh my. And we'll probably feel this tomorrow and the next day, but just thinking about having this strong center is so motivating. At least it is for me. I hope it is for you. Take one more breath. I'm trying to keep you distracted. Bring those knees down. Drop those hips and lift. Bring your upper body down. And if you can, bring your fingertips off the earth. If that doesn't work for you, you can just go back to the um, hands holding the ball behind you. Otherwise, the fingertips are on the earth. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, rising. Exhale, lowering. Inhale, up and down we go. From here, roll onto your right side. So right arm can be extended. Left knee can come in front of your belly button. So left knee bends. Now we bend that right leg as well. Maybe grab the inner right foot. If you can, drop that right leg back behind you. You can lay down, you can move that right leg back. So this should feel amazing. 
on especially the right quad, but you might feel it in your low back. So just let yourself melt into this shape. Relaxing everything. Last breath. We're gently going to release that right leg. We don't want it to slingshot and roll onto your other side. So go in on that left side body. The arm can be extended or bent, up to you. Right knee comes in front, bend that left knee, grab that ankle, maybe drop it down and back. You can walk that back knee back. This also releases the low back, and it's a gentle twist on our core. Inhaling and exhaling, relaxing. Last breath, we release. Roll onto your back this time. One more time and bridge, bend those knees and lift your hips. If you'd like, hands can stay flat or interlace the hands. Walk those shoulder blades under. A nice passive stretch here on the front side of the body, a gentle arch in the back. One deep breath. The hands release, we lower the body. Cross your right ankle over that left knee. Pull that knee in, taking your hamstring or your shin and melting. Inhaling and exhaling. Last breath. We'll release and switch sides. So left ankle crosses. We gather that right knee in and grab on wherever we can. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath. We release. Now bring in both knees, arms to a T. The knees drop to the right. Reach that left arm away. Twists are beautiful at the end of any practice, but in particular when we've worked that core. So now ringing out, breathing deep, and inhale, lift up. Dropping the knees to the left, reaching the right arm away. Your chin can drop toward that right shoulder. And the knees come back up. Happy baby. So shins, ankles, or feet. And you can move or stay still. If you want to straighten those legs a little. And Shavasana, you did it. Core and floor. Giving your body this chance to welcome all that goodness. The strength, the opening, that sense of center that you can carry into your life. Thank you for practicing with me today. Live light.